want to thank everyone for coming out uh, to the ribbon cutting ceremony. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce today's uh, speakers. Uh, I'll be the master of ceremonies for today. Uh, from the village of Bridgeview, uh, Mr. Mayor Stephen Landick. Uh, with Sea Geek, we've got uh, co-founder Russ D'Souza. And uh, with the Chicago Fire, the president, general manager, um, Mr. Nelson Rodriguez. And with the uh, Chicago Red Stars, uh, owner Arnhem Whistler. So at this time, I will uh, go ahead and introduce our first speaker. Uh, Mayor Stephen Landon. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we're honored to have uh, Sea Creek co-founder co Russ D'Souza and his team uh, from New York. They were instrumental for putting this all together. Jeff Ionello, have I seen him today? He's not yet. He's good. Uh, Greg Vivrito and Jack Kearns, and uh, I have to say I, I only really had worked with Jeff, and uh, he's quite an enthusiastic uh, fella, and uh, he's selling at every moment that he's 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 breathing, he's he's awake, he's amazing. So if you meet him, keep your hands in your pocket. <laughs> uh, so. And then actually, he, he piqued my interest to, uh, for me to understand what Sea Geek is and how does that all fit together. I'm not in the tech business. And I have to say that uh, it was uh, very interesting what I found online about Mr. D'Souza. It's quite a compelling story and uh, interesting. And I suggest that you look uh, at the internet and see some of his interviews. He's uh, really focused, he, to the point, and uh, it's quite educational. But probably the most important thing I found out about him is that is in 2010, he was named in New York uh, some of the coolest tech people in New York in 2010. So I will never be considered a cool guy. I look at him there, I'm like, yeah, he's cool. So that's when I realized we need to have cool at the stadium. That's important for us. If you're gonna have a stadium, you gotta have fun. You gotta have somebody cool. Not this, that. <laughs> so, you know, in, in 26, 2006, Bridgeview, of course, our hometown, and trustees and the clerk are here. We had a big idea, and uh, we were privileged to work with Major League Soccer, the Chicago Fire, and with our own hard work, our own persistence and tenacity, a stadium which fittingly will now hold the name of Sea Geek Stadium was born. You know, Bridgeview is a blue collar community. Uh, located right here, southwest industrial side of Chicago. It's a place where all of us have dreams and ideas. And we do it so we can lift ourselves to prosperity and a better life. And now the stadium finds Seat Geek, which is a big idea, a big dream, and a big success for, for of its co-founder, Russ D'Souza. You know, in 2009, Mr. D'Souza started, took his own idea, and with his own work, his own persistence, his own tenacity, he created a ticketing platform to break open the business of ticketing, as we haven't seen before. And like I said, you should go search it yourself. It's, it's interesting. This isn't only a naming rights deal, but also is a business partnership. Thanks to SeatGeek for leading the way with technology and their ticketing platforms. Fans and business partners will both benefit for the fan SeatGeek makes this, it's going to make the venue even e an easier place to come to interface and to get ticketing. And our business partners, the Fire, the Red Stars, and everyone else, uh, making a better place to promote all our, all our events in a way like we've never done it before. Uh, SeatGeek is a major partner of Major League Soccer, which has been very important for us, and we're excited they would, they're they going to ticket for the Chicago Fire, and like they do for many other teams across the country, they're, they're quite an organization. Our partnership will also bring a revitalized approach to booking and bringing music and sports entertainment to SeatGeek Stadium like we haven't seen before. Actually, before in Fort June, we have three big events. The uh, Metal Fest, which maybe you'd go to because you're a lot cooler than I am. <laughs> the Nitro Circus, which is the jumping, uh, the trustees will, will love to see that. The <laughs> motorcycles flipping around in circles. And the lacrosse. New signage, new events, a new look at our stadium for the upcoming years. I have to say, Mr. D'Souza, welcome to Bridge U, and thank you for making Sea Geek your next big idea. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Landek. Uh, it is my pleasure to now introduce uh, the co-founder of Sea Geek, Mr. Russ D'Souza. Thank you, Jack, for the kind words, and thank you, everyone, for attending. 
As you can imagine, today is a very exciting day for the team at SeatGeek as we cut the ribbon on our first ever stadium uh, naming rights partnership. <laughs> However, for the venue and fans, this will be much more than just a naming rights partnership. As a new ticketing platform for SeatGeek Stadium, we see our name above the arch as a promise to fans that we will constantly work to deliver the best experience. This means that we will not only make it easy for fans to access, share, sell, and scan tickets, but we'll also work with the village to bring additional entertainment to the venue. We're absolutely thrilled to be here in Bridgeview, and we'll work tirelessly to provide a world-class experience to the fans in this region. Chicago is one of the best cities for live events in the world. When my co-founder and I launched SeatGeek nearly 10 years ago, we did so with the goal of helping more fans experience more live. In that time, we have helped more than 800,000 fans in the Chicago area alone attend more than 13,000 events in the region. We're looking forward to growing both of those numbers significantly in the coming years as we continue to invest and grow uh, the SeatGeek brand in the Chicago area. We're also looking forward to the Fire Home Opener Saturday and our confident fans will be proud to call SeatGeek Stadium home. I just want to end with a few very important thank yous. First off, to Mayor Landek uh, for, first of all, the kind words, um, but also for him and the entire village for being such great partners. To the Fire and Red Stars, who we expect uh, to keep SeatGeek Stadium busy with a, uh, with, into the fall with deep playoff runs. Nelson's promised me that. <laughs> <laughs> and to W Partners for bringing us in the village together. And finally, to all of you here today, uh, for joining us to make this ribbon cutting special. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. D'Souza. Uh, it's now my pleasure to introduce President and General Manager of the Chicago Fire, Mr. Nelson Rodriguez. Thank you, good morning. I know that Arnhem and I are keeping you from warmth, so I will be brief. Uh, first, I want to congratulate Mayor Landeck and the trustees for thinking out of the box and bringing SeatGeek into the village and into the stadium because we are excited. They've been a great partner to Major League Soccer, and now they will be a great partner to the village, to the Red Stars and the Fire, and we're excited to be with them. I want to also recognize the work of W Partners for making it happen. Uh, that was essential. We are excited by this partnership for all of the reasons mentioned by the mayor and Russ but in particular because the shock of blue has spruced things up and even makes our red pop just a little bit more. It's an exciting time for us as the home season begins on Saturday. While I made no such promise of a deep playoff run, I will reiterate the promise I made from the first day I came here, which is we will be a team that is representative of Chicago and Bridgeview, that has its mindset of coming to work and giving its best on a daily basis. And with that, I say to everyone, scarves up for SeatGeek Stadium, the Fire, and the Red Stars. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. Uh, it's now my pleasure to introduce the owner of Chicago Red Stars, Mr. Arnhem Whistler. Um, I also want to thank the uh, Village of Bridgeview trustees, Mayor Landak, uh, SeatGeek. Uh, this is an incredible uh, refresh to a historic stadium. Um, I also want to thank the weather. I didn't think I'd ever be happy for 26 degrees as like a, a warm event. And it could have been a lot worse, so, uh, so we're happy about that. Um, I want to welcome SeatGeek to uh, one of the great sports cities in the world. Uh, the, the Chicago sports tradition and history is very special, and you'll immediately be part of that uh, with, the, with the folks that play in this venue. Um, we plan to make history uh, this year in SeatGeek Stadium. I will uh, go on record as saying that after a team that's made four straight playoffs with one of the best rosters of any club in the world, 
we intend to have a championship brought back to Chicago very soon in SeatGeek Stadium. Red Stars, not as many people know about us. We are one of the originals uh, in uh, women's pro soccer in the country. We are the oldest and winningest women's pro club in the U.S. Um, like the Cubs and the Blackhawks and the Bears, uh, White Sox, original teams, we intend to be here for a long time. Uh, we have the best players in the world in our league and on our team. It's a World Cup year, it's a very special year, and almost all the major women's soccer players in the world are gonna walk through these arches and play on this pitch, both before and after the World Cup. So it's a very special year for SeatGeek to be part of this. Um, we have the top striker in the world, Sam Kerr, two-time Golden Boot winner. We have five World Cup champions on our roster that are gonna be here every day um, and make this their home. Um, and uh, like I said, we intend to add to the, the uh, rich history of Chicago. We're glad SeatGeek is part of it um, and uh, can't wait to, uh, to work together to make soccer even greater in Chicago. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Whistler. Um, briefly, I uh, just want to take a few moments before we wrap up the ceremony. Uh, and speak about um, our, the company I work for, Spectra, on behalf of uh, SeatGeek Stadium, and to touch base on some of those um, other events that we're going to bring uh, along with the great soccer that we, we host here. Um, so our company has over 160 venues throughout the U.S., Canada, and worldwide, and we're able to uh, utilize those venues um, in our both local and national partnerships to bring other concerts, special events, um, as the mayor mentioned, the Nitro Circus, um, the lacrosse, Premier Lacrosse League we have coming um, in Chicago Open Air. So um, that is uh, one of the things we're excited about um, as the general manager and the company I work for, uh, bringing other opportunities for uh, Bridgeview and for the Chicago area. Um, also, um, uh, want to uh, make sure I thank um, the Village of Bridgeview, the trustees, um, as well as Chicago Fire, um, the Red Stars, and then of course um, our partner SeatGeek. I'm um, really excited. Their team have been great to work with for these special events, been um, partnering with us to help spread the word and make sure nationally we are getting recognized, um, not just for soccer but also for these other events. Um, Nitro Cir Circus specifically um, is in Texas, California, New York, um, so nationally at different locations. Uh, so we are lucky to get them here. It's going to be a great opportunity to showcase uh, what SeatGeek Stadium has to offer. Uh, so with that, uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, I'll wrap it up so we can get inside. And uh, we're going to do the ribbon cutting, some photos, and then we'll have a light lunch um, upstairs in the Heineken Second Star Club. So once again, thank you guys very much for uh, hanging out with us in the cold. One cut. Two.